Well, here it is February 1st, and I just looked out the window, and if you can see that you right there with the black head and the white body, the rest of the flock is down down there with their with their lambs. But she there she is laid back down. She's there circling around and nesting. Which that's an indication she's up there giving birth. So today being the first of February, we're talking inbox. There she goes again. She's pushing. She's in good shape and she's pretty big right now. She may have twins. She may have a single, but she may have twins, triplets. Well, this is moving on. She's a little bit worried of getting too far from the fox all the way down further in the pasture. She doesn't want to be left alone. All right, she's going back. Well. Fortunately, the rest of the flock can't go too far because the pasture don't go too far that away. They'll have births out anywhere, and the snow, we've had them <laughs> covered in snow, and somehow. A lamb is born and they clean it up and a lamb gets up and starts nursing and it's fine. And it's what inbox all about. I don't want to leave that area right there. I'll move. Oh. 
She may have it figured out to strategically locate herself in this one acre pasture also that she feels comfortable right there. It's about midway. I just seen the baby's head coming out. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's a baby lamb coming out there. Gosh, I wish we could assist it because I don't know. He's been pushing for a little bit. There it is. It's being born. Hey, there's the lamb. There's one lamb on the ground. <laughs> Happy Mbach. Well, I see its ears moving. She's licking it. That's her firstborn. Yep, it's another little door I can see the black head and the little white body. Now we gotta hope for is make sure the milk's flowing. That that little lamb gets up and starts nursing. That's the difference between life and death right now. The colostrum that's in that milk she needs. That little lamb needs it. She's a good mother, though. So. That'd be interesting to see if she has twins or if she's going to have a single. She's big enough. Well, there's a little lamb trying to get up. This is what farming's all about. Lamb is trying its best to nurse. Standing up, but it's a little tossy turny. <laughs> I don't think it's nursed yet. Getting close. I'll give it a little bit more time. I mean, it's less than a half an hour old.
It's a very cold morning. Like, I don't know if it's rate of freezing, I guess, right about now. Which is perfect. Well, it's a little bit later on in the morning, and the sun's come out, and you can see the flock has moved back in front of the window here, outside my bedroom, and there's the uh, twin lambs there, and then the one single, the black one a little bit further up to the right, with their moms. And the mom that just gave birth here today, she's moved up there in the sun. And uh, you can see her lamb there. She's uh, up and walking and tail shaking and trying to nurse. Much more stable. I think uh, the mom up there has got the afterbirth hanging out of her. We're watching the miracle of life. It is a mess, a bloody mess. It's amazing. Baby's trying to nurse and mom's passing her afterbirth. <laughs> amazing. Creation is an amazing thing. Meanwhile, the rest of the flock just moves on. And soon with its new member following along. There to go. Thank <laughs> you. 